Hey friends, what's up? My name is Jeff Heath. Thank you so much for joining me here on my challenge. Today we're doing something a little different. Let me start with a story. About two and a half, three weeks ago, I was off photographing some eagles on the river. I noticed that they were swarming around a dead carcass on the river. You know, the normal kind of stuff. So I went down over this bridge underneath it to try to get some shots up close with my 100 to 400 lens with my extender and being the old man that I am, on my way back up from this embankment, I slipped and fell on the wet rocks, fell down, almost landed in the river, almost died, thought everything was totally fine. Turns out everything was not totally fine. The next day I went to go use my camera and found out that the 1.4 times teleconverter had broken on the inside, but I thought that was all that was wrong. It was not all that was wrong, my friends. No, no, no. I had also wrecked my 100 to 400, which I tried to sell to a friend, and he came back within a half hour saying that the lens wasn't working when it had worked perfectly fine in between there. Somewhere between me falling, using it, and then the time I sold it to him, the lens stopped working. I sent it back to Canon because I have Canon Professional Services, which they take care of the lens and make sure that everything's working again and try to get it going. However, uh, they noted back that there was some barrel damage, they couldn't fix it, and then it needed to be replaced outright. So I couldn't sell it, I couldn't repair it, so what am I gonna do? Why not see what's inside? So I decided to take apart the lens and see how a 100 to 400 works on the inside. So. Let's go take it apart. All right, here we go. We're going to take apart this 100 to 400 Canon EF lens. Let's see what's inside. Tiny little screws there. Teeny tiny. Oh, already lost a screw. Where'd it go, screw? How is that even possible? Where did that other one go? Ah, there it is. See another screw here, so this, oh, there we go. It's the weather seal gasket here. These all come out. These are ribbons. There we go, that's another little part out there. This one's bent, but I can't get that screw out. Oh, there's like Loctite on there or something. How does anyone get these apart? The power tools or something. Well, that's the ticket there. Oh, look at that. There's the collar there. So you can see right here, we have uh, all the weather sealing here, which is all a little gasket. That's pretty, that's pretty funny. Eh? No, so there's the focus markings there. That's called come off. So that's one big chunk there. That's pretty cool. Loving that. <clears throat> All right, so I'm guessing this rubber ring's got to come off. This is all, it's gonna be a screw, yep. So if you look right there, there's little screws that we gotta take off. So all around, there's another one. So I'm guessing I gotta take this little tape off here. So you can see all the weather sealing that Canon does here, which is pretty neat. All right, there's screw number one. There we go, another part off. Some more screws. I'm always curious with all you tech people who do take apart things, how do you keep track of everything that you take apart? 
seems so difficult to me to know where each screw goes. You just have like a chart, take pictures. There you go, another part of the collar off. So that one's there. This one's here. Look at that, eh? Now you can see the pieces sliding on the inside there. Elements moving. I'm guessing these ones come out next if I'm going in order. Take off this spring here. It's another gasket. Maybe. There we go. It is quite remarkable. Someone has to engineer and put this all together. Figure out how it all works together. It's quite remarkable. Right, so that still didn't release this. There we go. All right. Took me a little while to figure out there. So now we got this. Oh, that proved more difficult than I thought. There we go. There's the front glass right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. A little screw in there I couldn't see. Fancy. I got you, Cannon. One more. This is all come apart here. Okay. <laughs> that is super cool. Look. That's the, uh, that's the stabilizer in there. So that's how the, there's like little springs there. We'll take that apart here in a sec. There we go. There's another one of the glass elements there. Shake it till you make it, right? Am I right? Shake it till, that's the saying. There's another glass element there. Oh. Another, another one. Now, how do I get this one out? Can't give up, folks. We're almost there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're kind of at a stuck here. <gasps> I think I found it. Ah, all right, there's the barrel of the lens on the inside. This is the last little bits right here. How's this come off now? One screw there. Ha <clears throat> ha, victory, it is all taken apart. That took way longer than I thought it was going to take, but I did it. And uh, there is a lot that goes inside of a camera lens. I know technology progresses and changes and stuff like that, but from the days of like, you know, a couple elements to now all this technology and these different things, moving parts, it's, a, it's incredible. So Canon, engineers, anyone who works in cameras, this technology is incredible. Anyways, that was just the take apart 
Now I'm going to try to put it back. I'm not trying to put it back together. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun just watching me take apart this lens. And I would love for you to subscribe and I'm going to make some more videos. And if you don't subscribe, I'm going to tell you. Um, so I didn't mean to say I'm going to kill you. I just meant I'm not going to make any more videos.